Living in a small home requires a lot of strategic thinking to get the most out of a space. Unfortunately, it is not always that easy or cheap, as many small space solutions and multifunctional furniture pieces comes with a hefty price tag. That is why in this video, I'll go through 11 affordable, stylish, and smart space saving furniture so you can make the most out of your tiny space at home. Sofa beds are a fantastic option for small spaces due to their 2-in-1 functionality. They can be a seating area by day and transform into a cozy bed at night. I know that many people don't like sofa beds because the designs are often quite boxy, ugly, and compromise on comfort. But many brands have come out with more modern, comfortable, and streamlined designs. I particularly like the slide away sofa bed by Eva as it features a raised frame unlike most chunky sofa beds. It is able to do this as it has a slide-out frame design rather than a folding mechanism like most sofa beds. Koala also has a modern range of sofa beds. What is unique about Koala is that they sell smaller and single sofa beds which are particularly good for people who want to occasionally transform their office space into a guest room but don't have space for a full-size sofa bed. I've personally used them in past client projects and they work really well for these applications. Another type of multifunctional sofa is a storage sofa. In most designs, you lift the seat cushions up to reveal storage space in the sofa's frame. Unfortunately, it can be a bit of a hassle accessing your stuff as you have to clear out the surface before you can open it up. For some sofas, the lifting mechanism can be quite heavy or awkward to open. That is why they're only really good for storing stuff that you only occasionally use. I tend to prefer drawer-type storage sofas like the Getaway Sofa by Koala. Sliding drawer designs are much more ergonomic and can even be accessed while someone is sitting or lying down on the sofa. That being said, all storage sofa designs are quite boxy, which may not work if you would prefer a light and airy sofa with legs for your space. In this case, you may choose to DIY your storage sofa by hiding boxes on wheels underneath it. This could go quite unnoticeable if you choose a smaller size and ones with a similar color or a transparent box under your sofa. Most people think of massive sofas with 5 or more seats and large living rooms when someone says modular sofa. But there's actually no reason why you can't buy just one or two sofa modules to make a smaller lounge. The adaptability and versatility of modular sofas is what makes them so suited to small spaces. Instead of one large furniture piece, you can maximize the layout of your room by arranging the modules into various different configurations or as separate chairs. Storage benches also serve a dual purpose of being a seat and providing hidden storage space. You can either go down the built-in cabinetry route, which can be quite expensive but look very impressive. Or you can DIY a setup with Besta, Platza, or Nordly cabinets from IKEA. Many people choose to install these pieces along the span of a single wall, so it seamlessly integrates into the space, but you can also choose to have a single cabinet bench piece. If you don't want to embark on a DIY project, IKEA's Eseboda bench is a good option. It features fully upholstered foam, so it looks a lot more like an ottoman than a cabinet, and would work well in a living room, hallway, or bedroom. If you're lacking storage space in your bedroom, you should go for a bed frame with built-in storage. Ottoman style storage bed frames have the most storage space, but they're not that practical as you have to use a hydraulic lift mechanism to lift the whole mattress to access your storage space. I think the better option are bed frames with storage drawers. IKEA's Mal, Mandal, and Nordly collections feature bed frames like this for a reasonable price. Otherwise, you can get custom joinery made up with pull-out storage underneath. If you already have a bed frame or are on a super tight budget, you can use underbed storage boxes like the IKEA Scott or shallow plastic containers on wheels from the dollar store instead. Speaking of multifunctional furniture, a smart display that serves two functions as a monitor and a smart TV is also a great solution for small spaces. Here, we have the new LG Smart Monitor that can work as an entertainment device with its magic remote and built-in speakers and a productivity device not just as a monitor but also on its own without needing a laptop or computer. This is a perfect all-in-one solution for our small guest bedroom or a hybrid workstation where I can focus on my writing and check some emails without plugging in my laptop. For more complex work like space planning in SketchUp or gathering ideas in Melanote, I can simply plug in my laptop to work on a bigger screen. Wireless connection like AirPlay and Bluetooth is a great bonus for streaming music or to cast whatever you're watching on a small screen into a bigger one 
which I like to do when watching YouTube. You also get all your standard streaming services like Netflix and Disney+. There's also a dashboard for smart home devices, which I find really useful if you have plenty of smart devices like I do. If you're unsure where to place a monitor in your room, try out LG's new 3D AR filter, where you can virtually position them in your room to see how it will look. You can check this monitor out via the link in the description box below. Expendable dining tables allow you to make the most out of a limited dining space without sacrificing the option to entertain guests every now and then. There are two main types, gate leg or traditional ones. Gate leg dining tables, as the name suggests, have gates that swing out and prop up one or two hinged table leaves. They are super popular for studio apartments as they can be folded down into a slim storage unit. If you are on a budget, look into the Norden or Pintorp collection from IKEA. They differ in size so it totally depends on what you need for your space. The main downside with gate leg tables is that the gates can get in the way when you are sitting down. Many people end up bumping their knees on them because of the diagonal design. If you are going to be entertaining frequently, a traditional extendable table may be a better option. These tables appear to be regular sized dining tables but can be split in the center to fold out, drop or slide in extra table panels. They come in various shapes and sizes, with various different mechanisms so you can find one that suits your needs. There's even an extremely extendable dining table on the market at the moment that starts as a compact console table and extends to a table large enough to seat 10 people thanks to its telescopic rails. In really small spaces where you can't have a dining table, it is a good idea to get an adaptable coffee table for meals. There's two types that you can get. One that has a hinge like an ironing board, or one with the hinge mechanism that lifts one side of the table upward and outward in the direction of your sofa. The ironing board type is more versatile, as you can sit on any side of it, making it more suitable for hosting in comparison to the ones that are raised on one side, that really only work for eating while TV watching or working on your laptop, such as the IKEA Trust Store. If you're looking for something smaller, a movable side table is another option that is quite versatile. They are super lightweight and easy to move around. I've used the famous Don't Leave Me movable side table from Hay in some of my projects, and the IKEA Burvik is also a great budget option. Folding or stacking seating may seem boring, but they can be a lifesaver for small spaces. Foldable chairs are perfect as they can be stored out of sight in cupboards. It is even better if you can get ones that are suitable for indoor and outdoor settings to maximize your investment like the popular Firmop chairs. That being said, they can be flimsy and not very comfortable if you sit on them for long periods of time. If you are planning on getting more than 4 foldable chairs, I'll suggest getting stackable chairs instead. Too much horizontal space gets wasted if there's more than 4 foldable chairs lined up next to each other. It is better to have stackable chairs that use up the otherwise wasted vertical space. It gets even better with stackable stools, although they are not as comfortable. Not only do they not take up much space when stacked, but they can also be used as a side table. You can do this with the famous auto stools, but these can be expensive, so many people go for the three-legged Kire knockoffs by IKEA that achieve the same thing. Floor space is a premium in small spaces while vertical spaces are often underutilized. Modular shelving units allow you to build up, while configuring them in such a way that would allow you to fit whatever space and needs. The Vitsu shelving unit is one of the most popular and iconic modular shelving systems in the market. They are expensive, but are really high quality, highly configurable, and most importantly, it is something that will likely last a lifetime, and you'll always be able to add more modules to existing systems as you relocate. A possible alternative on a budget is the IKEA Boaxel system, but they are not as robust and there's always the possibility of the line getting discontinued and you will be left with a system that is no longer expandable. You can also look into second-hand Bitsu pieces. They will last forever and you can get them around 50 to 70% of the retail price. My final tip is to use fold-away furniture to maximize space and minimize visual clutter. There are plenty of types of fold-away furniture, from small pieces of furniture like wall-mounted desk to large beds. IKEA sells the Ivar table, which is an affordable foldable desk, but you can also embark on your own DIY project to make something smaller and less intrusive with collapsible shelf brackets and a lightweight tabletop. 
Foldable beds, otherwise known as Murphy beds or disappearing beds, are perfect for studio apartments, but they can be quite expensive. They look like a custom-made wardrobe when totally folded up and can be pulled down to reveal a full-size bed. Many people also integrate them with a the sofa, so you can have entertaining space during the day, which folds up and transforms into a sleeping space at night, perfect for small studio apartments. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out my video on 12 tips to make a small space look and feel bigger. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.